Stuart, a big three points for the club today. What was your assessment of that game? Yeah, we, we knew going into it, it was a massive game of football. We knew um, what was at stake. We kind of spoke to the players about enjoying these occasions when you know that there is so much at stake. Um, and, and I'm delighted to come out on the right side of it. I don't think we were perfect in the game, um, that's for sure. But you can see the conditions, you could see the nature of the game. Two strikers that you know you're going to have to play against because they go kind of quickest route to goal, which is fine. Um, there was bits that could be better within that, but as I say, I felt that we stood up and we showed a great deal of professionalism in the big moments in the game. Um, you know, there's two what people will term big VAR decisions, but they were correct, um, and I felt we kept our discipline within what is a, a scrappy game at times. Um, and, and as I say, Scott, we're a, we're a club in general over the last 18 months that struggled a wee bit playing against 10 men, so that becomes a, a major positive for me. And I think for the players as well, because they can prove to themselves that they know how to handle that situation. I'm just going to say, because it's not the first time we've played against 10 men this season and we have struggled. What was different today? Because we actually pushed on and had the opposite effect of what we've seen in the past. I think it's. I think if the opposition get an opportunity or if they get moments in the game, it's not to panic and it's not to think that you have to rip up the plan that you had set. Um, so for us, it was maybe just about tweaking one or two things to see if we could create a an impact on the game. I think we did that, you know, um, you look at the first goal, we did alter something just before the uh, the first goal and it came up trumps, you know, the cross, the stand up into the box and the quality of finish. I'm not saying that was exactly what we were leading to, but we felt we could get into those types of areas. Um, but again, the players have to execute that, which they did very, very well. Um, and then, you know, you, you know there's going to be a little bit of an onslaught at times, you know, they've got some big guys that they can throw up. Um, so again, it was standing strong to that and just managing the game, which again, for me, was excellent. Four games in charge now for yourself, 10 points out of possible 12. How would you assess the last four games, a, a short mini run of fixtures that we've had so far? The, the points are great, the run is, is absolutely tremendous, but the most important thing for me, you know, and the most important aspect for me is how the players have approached everything, you know, right across the board, um, from sitting in video meetings, from post-match, pre-match, how they acquit themselves on the training pitch, and the most important bit, of course, is how they how they act at three o'clock on a Saturday, um, but it's, it's all those things uh, as an accumulation and coming together, because if you come off at any point with any of these things and you don't approach them the correct fashion, then you're going to fall short somewhere, so that has been the biggest bit, and I think that they get the rewards for how they've handled themselves, how they've behaved and how they've acted over the last sort of three weeks since I've come in. We've seen the full team and yourself go over to applaud the travel and support that we're hearing the numbers again today. Again, just how important are they in, in those tough moments? Because, like you said, we weren't perfect for the first kind of 50, 60 minutes. Yeah, again, you, you, you look for little things, don't you? In, in the start of the second half, I thought we would get a better reaction at the start of the second half. We didn't. Um, but the one thing I could hear was their supporters. So, um, again, you can't undervalue that. The players hear it. The players understand that they're 100% behind them. I know how long a journey is, as, as everybody knows, with my, my association with Ross County. So, for them to come up in their numbers and be as vocal as that was, was tremendous. And, and I do think it is a fact. I do think it is a factor in getting the three points and long may it continue but as I said way at the start Scott we have to make sure we give them something to be positive about um, but to be fair that, that works in tandem and I think we have done No game next weekend of course so do we just turn straight away now to Rangers and try and keep this run going? Yeah, the, the, the focus doesn't go on to Rangers. Um, I, think you can, I think you can get overexcited about big games and undoubtedly the Rangers one will be. So for us, I think it's really about tidying up what we've got. So a couple of guys with knocks and niggles, um, some guys that need a wee bit extra work in there as well. So that's what our, our plan will be next week. Um, but if we start really focusing too much and thinking about Rangers too much, um, I think they maybe play two or three games between now and, and us playing them. So um, I think we keep our, our powder dry, so to speak, and I think that we just calm down and, and, and make sure that we're in a good place when we go into that Monday starting and leading towards the Rangers game. Thanks for your time, Stuart. Well done. Thanks again.